Hi, this is Root from Gabriel Design Switzerland. What I want to show you today is how to embed an iframe responsively. So what I will try to do is to embed this external site, GabrielDesign.ch, into another site. Now we have the code here, I'm in Dreamweaver in there, and uh, yeah, you have to see I embedded uh, a CSS file responsive iframe.css and here I have the iframe. Um, the source is here http slash slash www.cabledesign.ch. I have a width of 1500 and a height of 500. Uh, it's important to put here frame border to zero and style border 0 02 so that we don't have any borders because we don't need them and they're pretty ugly I think. So um, when I test this in my browser uh, I can see that. Okay. So you have this iframe, you see the proportions are like that. We have uh, 1500 pixels uh, of width and here height is 500 pixels. So that is not responsive as you can see. So what we have to do now is we go back to Dreamweaver and we have to make an iframe. No, sorry, not an iframe. We have to make a diff around the whole thing. Um, so let's say diff class and I used class panorama for that. So we have to close the diff here. Um, I save that and I go to my CSS file now. Um, you see I've done some basic settings as body margin zero, padding zero, so we don't have any borders. Don't know why it's still the same. Um, okay. Um, and background color of uh, black so that we can see what is the iframe and what is the normal site we have. So now um, what is very important is this here line 9 um, padding bottom yeah that's 33.3 uh, 33 percent uh, um, this is a very important uh, number um, because that describes the proportion of the two sides of the height and the width of the iframe. Now how can we get this uh, number? Um, we have here the, the height uh, of the iframe divided to uh, with the width so um, the result is 0 0.333 infinite and that means it's a uh, 33.33 33, um, percent okay and what is important that you can make the relation between these numbers so this here 500 is 8 and this here is width so we compare it you see here, eight five hundred, okay, and here, width is one thousand five hundred. So that's a very important adjustment, okay. Um, okay, I have this class panorama, and of course I have to describe the panorama iframe, as you can see here below. So I save this, and I'm very excited to see the results in my browser now. Go back here, I test it. As you can see, we have full width of 100%. Okay, now let's test if this is responsive. And ta da! It is, indeed. Of course, you can download uh, a zip file with this example in it um, from the link below. It's uh, gabrieldesign.ch slash tutorials slash responsive iframe english slash 
responsive iframe that zip. So, have a good day and see you guys.